Okay, so today I'm here to do a video with you again. It's been a while, I know. Uh, I've got a bunch of things that we're gonna put on my face and I got them like a week ago so we're gonna be doing like kind of a review style because I already know what I think about them. So I can just tell you if I like them or not. But yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look or just, you know, like see the new products from the drugstore, then just keep watching. Okay, so for my eyes, already primed and set and did my eyebrows and I don't have anything new eyeshadow wise to try so I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour Palette and I have in mind something I want to do but it's nothing new you can just like watch so I'm just taking like a light brown and we're gonna try to do like a loosely done type of cut crease situation I really wanted to get the new Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes because they really do look good and they're cheap but I just have so many palettes that even that seems like I don't need it, but I might get one. I don't know. Okay, see, like that's really all I wanted to do. Something really simple like that. I'm gonna take like a light white shade and go around the edges. Maybe that'll help. So the first new thing that I have to talk about, I literally love. It's so good. And if you know me, you probably know that I love matte eyeliners. Okay, so I've tried like a lot of them. Several of them fail me and transfer into the crease, but the two that I loved first was the Milani Stay Put 17 Hour Wear Liquid Liner. This one is really good, except the tip on it is like really fat and kind of hard to use. And then the other one I love, which was my baby before the one that just came along, is a Sephora Colorful Eyeliner Waterproof. Black and it's matte and it's gorgeous and it's amazing. Then came this one. And, and do you notice these packagings are like exactly the fucking same? They both like they look exactly the same. Yeah. It's very weird. This is the new CoverGirl liquid eyeliner. They have different types. There's like a vinyl one, which is like shiny, I think, which why would anyone want that? And then they have this matte one. I think it's called like Major Matte, except on Ulta's website, it's called something else. It's called like Blackout or something. I don't know why. But uh, this one, I've worn him and he does so good. And the tip on this is beautiful. There's a dog barking. It's not mine. Mine's not even here. But yeah, uh, it'll dry completely matte and it just, ooh, it's so good. The only reason I like it better than the Sephora one is I think it's a little cheaper, but it, uh, the tip on this one I think is even finer than the Sephora one. So it's just beautiful. I'm telling you, oh my God. It's the best from the drugstore, except uh, yesterday I was on Ulta's website looking at new stuff, which I do like every day several times a day I'm like what has arrived because like a bunch of new shit's coming in and they had Essence's uh line on there I guess I guess it's like new stuff and Essence has like a matte eyeliner and I really want to try it well it says waterproof too this one doesn't even say waterproof so I thought it would transfer but it does not it's great the tip on this is so fine you don't even understand I think it's a I think it's felt tip but it's like really fine as if it was a brush tip I never ever do my wings perfectly so Always clean them up with concealer. Okay, do you see how beautiful this is? It's so black, it's so matte, <laughs> it's so good. I'm gonna do my other eye off camera. I'm gonna set offline. Okay, see this is exactly why I don't wear my clothes before putting on makeup. Where the fuck is it? It's like a big orange spot over here now. It's great. Okay, I did my wing and I put on mascara. It was the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black because I don't have anything new. And I just want to show you the eyelashes that I love so much. I was, okay, here's what happened. I asked you guys to tell me like good eyelashes that are like big and like mink type of eyelashes. And okay, a lot of you were saying Dodo. And then someone said this one, I don't know how to even say it. It's like Migas or something like that. Dodo is like kind of expensive. I talked to them about getting like a code and them sending me lashes. They said they were going to. I don't know when the hell that's going to happen, but that's what they said. Uh, and then the Migas ones, if I'm saying that right, they look so good. I'll spell it on the screen if you want to go look at them because they're like $6 or something. I want to order some coming soon. But when I was on that website, somewhere on it, it said something about like, these are not eBay lashes. Like they're not like the ones on eBay. I don't know. When they said that, I was like, wait, they have mink eBay eyelashes? <laughs> So then I went and looked on eBay. I don't know if that's like a good idea. I don't know if they're like that great of quality or whatever, but I found some that are so pretty and I love them. I already cut these and I wore them like a million times, but 
they're so pretty okay they're like so soft and beautiful uh they kind of shed <laughs> don't know if that's normal but you know if you're looking for like four dollar mink eyelashes i'll put the link below because these are so pretty but these probably really need cleaned but i'm gonna wear them today anyway to show you because i love them you know i'll come back in in, in a minute because i'm gonna try to pull the glue off of these okay so here's what they look like they're huge and i love it and i cut them both shorter and <laughs> this one that i normally have problems with went on like 18 million times easier and faster so maybe that's what i should have done a long time ago nyx came out with what are these metallic glitter okay i have four of the regular face and body glitter so uh and then i got two of the metallic glitters okay i think the difference is honestly i don't even know what makes them metallic i'm a little confused I was thinking maybe these ones, the metallic ones, are more finely milled because they're like super tiny glitters. But the other one I just poured on my hand is also like super tiny glitters. That one's like the normal one. That one's the new one. That one is in the shade, uh, what are you? Lumi Light. That is the most deceiving shade because online it looks like a white glitter with a purpley blue undertone to it and it's literally the exact opposite and it's orange with green like undertones it's very weird uh and then i got i got the shade beauty beam let me just put some of this on my hand too why not this one's like pink and white it's very hard to show you glitter but i mean it's kind of pretty online this shade looks completely different as well so I'm a little confused. I don't hate these glitters, but I definitely like glitter injections glitter more. And I've come to find out that I do not like dark glitter. And this one is way more dark than I thought it would be originally. It's like pink. I don't know. So I thought I would use Lumi Light somewhere in my look today. But I don't really know where. I'll wait until later to do that though. Okay, I got two new face primers for like a few days. Well, it really, the first day that I did this, I tried both of them at the same time. I did half on this side, half on this side. One of them is a NYX Hydra Touch Oil Primer. I was so happy when they came out with this because I have like a little sample of the Smashbox one. And mine smells weird now, so I probably should not use it ever again. But it's so good for like hydrating and if your foundation looks cakey or whatever because I just have like normal skin. Like right now it kind of feels dry, but I never have like dry patches or anything weird. I just pretty normal but i really like this i think it makes matte foundations more wearable for me on the other side of my face when i first tried that i used a wet and wild dewy face primer they're completely different this one is not hydrating at all and it is like this, this hole on here is mental it's humongous so much comes out at a time but i don't know it just has like a goldy glow to it can you even see it but it dries down like completely dry and like sticky and it feels weird and I don't like it and it gave me clogged pores on this side of my face. The side that I used this one on. The other side did not have that problem so I don't want to play with that one. So I'm going to use the NYX one today. I heard someone talking about how great this applicator is and it's not that great. Okay. They're like, yeah, you can pull this out of here and it doesn't drip everywhere. I was like, no, it does. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, mine does. Ugh, it's, it's kind of really messy, not gonna lie. And this is, like, thick. Like, it's, it's a thick baby. This is good for if you really just want hydration or whatever, but for normally, I probably won't use this because it's so fucking messy feeling. It's just, like, really wet and sticky. Uh, okay, for foundation, I don't want to try anything new today because... I want to make actual first impression videos out of these, but I have two new foundations. I'll show you uh, the Physicians Formula Foundation and the new Rimmel one. Uh, let me just go ahead and say, I don't. This packaging is fucking insane. Like, it's like a brick. If you wanted to kill someone, this would be like a good thing to use. And then this, the Rimmel one. I just, I swatched this and ooh, it feels so nice. It feels so thin. I hope I like it. I mean, color looks a little weird, not gonna lie. Like, I think it would be okay with me right now, but whenever I'm my normal amount of pale, like, even right now, it might be a little bit fucking dark. Uh, and I think this is a lighter shade. I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Yes, this is the only one I ever use, I feel like. Um, mainly because 
I, I don't know if this is in my head, but I kind of feel like this primer oxidizes my foundations and makes them a little bit darker than normal. I don't know if that's real or what, but that's what I feel like. So we're gonna use this one because it's super light. Okay, so um, I definitely wanted to do a whole first impression video with all this shit uh, a week ago when I got it all, but instead my apartment flooded, so I couldn't do it. It wasn't even my whole apartment, it was this room, like of everything, like where all my lights are and everything. I mean, nothing got ruined. It was just because the apartment next door's toilet overflowed until it filled their whole fucking apartment and also mine, which is like not normal. <laughs> I don't know. They came in here and the guy, he felt really bad about it. And I was like, this is not your fault. It's okay. Like a toilet should never do that. That just seems ridiculous. It wasn't like poop and pee water. It was just like fucking normal water. So it was okay. But they had to send someone in here to get all the water out. And then they put a big giant fan in here that was in here for a few days. And then yesterday they sent someone in here to like a uh, steam clean, I guess, the carpets. And then they left like a dehumidifier in here to try to get all the water out. It's been a weird time. So anyway, long story short, now I have to do an actual review type of video instead of a first impression video because I couldn't wait, you know, a whole week and not try all this shit out. So, so I'll try it and then let you know what I really think of it all. Okay, see, I feel like this foundation is normally pretty drying and matte, but like it has a glow to it because of the oil primer underneath. So it looks pretty good. I feel like it still turned out a little bit darker than normal, but it's still lighter than my neck, so it's fine. Okay, I do have a face powder that I would use that I got to try and it's horrible and I fucking hate it. And no, just, I'm not gonna use it today because it ruins my face. But CoverGirl came out with like a Vitalist Healthy Powder. So it's supposed to match their foundation and whatever. They came out with a concealer too. I didn't get that though. But this powder, I got it because, you know, it says it's supposed to be a hydrating powder. That sounds like a great thing because I always feel dry, but I need powder because I can't just not powder. It's weird. But, uh, so I got the shade, what are you? Classic Ivory, the lightest shade. Looks like, you know, it's fine. They had three shades on Ulta's website. I don't know if that's all they came out with or what, because I've noticed weird things about Ulta's website. They only put like a few shades or like one shade of something. And I'm like, what's going on? What are you doing? But yeah, uh, got the lightest shade. This is so bad, so bad. When I put this on top of foundation, it is the darkest, patchiest thing ever. I don't think I've ever tried to powder this bad. I don't know what the fuck is going on with it. It's horrible. I don't know. It gets like so much darker and like patchier and like, I don't get it. I don't get it. So I'm returning that bitch. This is fucking stupid. I've tried it twice, that's enough for me. So I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Pro Glow Powder in the shade, the lightest I think. Oh, classic ivory, it's on the front. And set my forehead. I'm almost out of this. I'm wanting to get another powder. Oh yeah, I was wanting to try the Sephora, what is it, micro baked powder or something. Someone I'm watching on YouTube keeps talking about that and they made me want to try it. Okay, so concealer. <laughs> I have a problem. Okay, everyone says this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and Contour, whatever, is supposed to be just like Tarte Shape Tape. No. I even seen Laura Lee, I think, do like a video comparing these two and she's like, oh my god, yeah, it's just like it, full coverage. No. No, I don't get it. Mine's in the lightest shade, C1. We're gonna try this out on camera and see if it looks like it did the other day when I did this because I did half and half on my face and one side was completely full coverage, the Tarte, and this side was not at all. So let's see if it does it again today. This time they don't look that different. <laughs> okay, when I did this the other day, it looked way different. And I didn't have on foundation when I did it. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Right now, it's really not that different. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't think these are anything the same. <laughs> Somehow the coverage don't look that bad today on it. But the other day, I swear to God, I wish I would take a picture. Cause I did like the exact same thing and they both turned out completely different. Anyway, I don't know, I don't, I just don't, just don't really like this one. 
I like tart shape tape better. This consistency is thinner and lighter and I, I don't think the coverage is as great. Even though today it wants to try to prove me wrong on camera make me look bad. I'm going to use the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder and set my under eyes. We're going to set the rest of the face with the L'Oreal powder again even though I'm almost out. I promise I've used that concealer more than once, okay? So like I had developed a thought upon it, you know, for this whole week that I did not ever think that it had full coverage and I was like, what the fuck's going on? But you know, all of a sudden it wants to change up, so whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna contour now. I'm gonna use the Catrice Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette because I literally forgot that I had it and I bought another one. And then I was like, wait, do I have this? And then I look, I was like, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna use it today. I want to make like a deep contour. Like I used to do nice, deep, dark like bam in your face contours and i stopped doing that so i want to bring it back there's like glitter all over my face what the fuck how did that even happen it's stuck on my face it's like it's glued down what the fuck? i'm just gonna cover it with highlight that's what i'm gonna do um sorry it takes me so long to make videos sorry that in like almost every other video there's a weird ringing sound i don't know what to do about that by the way my neck is now yellow and my face is like light but orange so yeah, I think that the primer <laughs> makes my foundations a little bit of a weird color. I'm going to use a lighter one for my forehead because I look crazy when I use a darker one. So we're going to use the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. Natural? I don't know. I lost the lid, which I think said the name. I'm going to take some of this on my neck because, girl, this color don't match at all. You know what I've been doing whenever my neck and my face don't match? I just contour or like put bronzer on the outskirts, <laughs> the outskirts of my neck. And then it somehow slightly goes together. It's thinning of the neck, maybe, I don't know. Let's see, like it gives us depth, so it kind of like matches. <laughs> um, for blush, 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 blush. I don't know. What the fuck is on my head, dude? What the fuck is that? This is my old baby, Tarte Blush and Captivating. I used this so much at one point. It doesn't really look like it, but I did. We're gonna go peachy today. This is just like the prettiest peach color, but goddamn. Got a lot of pigment happening right here, so I'll have to calm down. I feel like I just went overboard AF. Uh, how high can I get my sleeves? I do not have a new highlighter either so i'm gonna take this uh maybelline master strobing stick illuminating highlighter in the shade light 100 and paint it on my face and then we're gonna take the anastasia aurora palette this thing is a goddamn mess what that's not okay we're gonna use eclipse which is like a light orange maybe this will match my fucking blush and then we're gonna take, actually, here's what I do. I lick my hand and then I dip this sponge applicator in there and then I get some highlight, but we're gonna use Luna on the nose cause it's like white. Goddamn girl. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my cheeks because it's stunning. I'm gonna finish my eyes real quick. So I guess we're gonna use it. Honestly though, I don't like this uh, sifter. So I gotta like dump it into my hand and then put it on my eye. I guess just put this in the inner corner, I don't know. And then put the glitter on there. Ew, there's hair everywhere. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Not the best thing I've ever seen, but it works. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I do like to use this NYX glitter though for my nails, <laughs> if anyone cares, because you can just like dump it on them. Ah, that put my eye. Oh, this brush hurts. Ah. I'm gonna put Essence Mascara on my lower lashes. I'm gonna wanna do something with my hair and then I'll be right back and show you all the lipstick that I got. Cause I got quite a lot of new ones. Okay, I feel like I have like a ponytail. <laughs> oh my God, a ponytail. Like, I mean like an actual horse tail. <laughs> a ponytail <laughs> on my head. It looks funny, but we're gonna leave it. Okay, CoverGirl came out with new liquid lipsticks. I got two shades. I don't hate them. Uh, I got the shade, I don't know, Coral Chronicles and Gray Matter. 
Coral Chronicle, Coral Chronicle, Coral Chronicles, I thought would be like way more of a neon -y shade, but it's actually pretty. It's just kind of different than what I thought it would be. But then Gray Matter literally reminded me so much of, where is it? The formula, let me just say, reminds me of the NYX Liquid Lingerie like my lipsticks. Uh, it might be like a little bit less moussey, but this is like very similar. And this shade reminds me very similarly, wait, very much, like Scandalous and Honeymoon. Kind of looks like a mix of the two. The top one is the CoverGirl one. It looks so similar to those shades. I don't really need this because I already have those shades. And this formula reminds me of that formula so much. And even this one is kind of sheer. Like those two shades are kind of like sheer when you put them on. Which I don't think looks bad. It's just kind of different, but this is so, so much like that. And then I do like this one. It, it, I feel like maybe it's more opaque, but maybe that's just because it's like pink underneath and it's also like a pinky color. Okay, and then Wet n Wild came out with a uh, metallic liquid cat suits, liquid lipsticks. And I got the shade Bally in love i think that's how you say it. anyway this shade is so fucking beautiful i love pinky gold shifting things i don't know why okay but this fucking color dude i don't know if you can get it but it's like oh my god this one is actually on ulta even though there's only like four shades <laughs> on their website but i found this one in stores and i think cvs or walgreens my tooth hurts. I don't really want any of the other shades because I'm not a big fan of metallic liquid lipsticks, but that one is so good. So I'm gonna, should I wear this one? Mm. Or this one? I feel like I'll wear the CoverGirl one to show you what it looks like, because I don't know. Also, Went Wild, the normal ones came out with more colors. I can't find them anywhere. They're not online. Well, they might be on their website, but they're not on Ulta. And they are not in any store that I've looked at. But I've looked at several CVS tips, tips. I've looked at several CVS's and Walgreens and Walmarts. Can't find them. Very upset by it. This smells. They smell like, uh, they smell like medicine. Like, like cherry medicine. This is what that one looks like. Can you see it? It's really pretty, I think. I don't really have anything like that. It's not on my teeth. Okay, we're good. We're good. It reminds me of a watermelon for some reason. Okay, so I think CoverGirl came out with something that was called like Glitz lip gloss or something. And it's like silver. There's a silver one and a gold one. And I was about to get a silver one because like if it's really glittery, it's going to look so pretty on the lips. But then I remembered how much I hated lip gloss. So then I remembered how much I love this thing because I tried it once at Ulta and then I ordered it. And um, so anyway, this is the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects lipstick thing i don't know uh this one's in the shade litter i don't like that that's a gross name <laughs> just makes me think of like cat litter but whatever uh this shade online it just says like iridescent glitter and it for some reason is like green and yellow and orange just like this glitter that i put on my eyes so i mean i got lucky there because they match <laughs> but not what i was expecting at all so anyway yeah you just put this on like gloss except it dries but it has glitter in it, so it's like shiny and pretty. Ooh, girl. I feel like I'm so far away from the camera. Get close there. Uh oh. Yums. I don't know. It's totally different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it can look crazy. But it looks so pretty in pictures, I feel like. This one looks like mermaid color. <laughs> I feel like so many glitters going on. What's it look like from a distance? Does it look normal? I don't know. If I look crazy, I'm sorry. So, yeah, I think that's all for this video. I feel like it's been like a million years long. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.